Hey guys, you may have seen this optical illusion with the staircase that when it flips upside down, makes the exact same staircase. I thought this was cool, so I wanted to make a mathematical expression just like this. So if you take this expression and flip it upside down, the top one's equal to 420 and the bottom one's equal to 69. I wanted to show you how I figured it out. First, I identified some numbers that when flipped upside down, they would be the exact same numbers. Then I found some numbers that when flipped upside down, they change the numbers that they are. So if I can find a sum of some combination of these, I'll call that A. And then if I sum these upside down, I'll call that upside down A. And then these are gonna be B whether they're upside down or not. So they'll be the same for both expressions. I know I want the upright A plus the upright B to equal 420 and the upside down A plus the B to equal 69. So then I subtracted these. The Bs are gonna cancel, which gives me A minus upside down A on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, 420 minus 69 is 351. So then I looked at each of these numbers and I came up with these two equations. I want some number of 81s plus some number of 91s plus some number of 61s and so on to be my A. Then I'd want the same number of 18 plus the same number of 16s plus the same number of 19s to be my upside down A. And then based on this right here, I want my upside down A to be capital A minus 351. So then I can subtract these two and it becomes all of this right here. 81 minus 18 is 63 and so on. So from here, this is where most of my time went. I just kept guessing whole numbers for X, Y, and Z until I found something that was equal to 351. And I was lucky. I actually did find something. 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 did give me 351. So then clean up all this stuff, rewrite this as upside down A, and then plug in each of these numbers that I got. So when I add all these together, my upright A is going to be equal to 478 and my upside down A is going to be equal to 127. So now let's get rid of this stuff, plug in 478 for the upright A and 127 for the upside down A. And now we can solve for B. Simple calculations, we can find out that B needs to be negative 58 for both of these equations. So I need to look at different combinations of 1, 11, 69, 6 times 9, 2, 5, anything that will give me 58. And I saw that 6 times 9 is 54, so I want to break this up into 54 plus 4. Four, and then that could simply become six times nine plus two plus two. And that's what shows up up here. So that is what my B is. So now I'll change this back into A and upside down A. So then this expression here, I wrote it up here. So I have the 81 times one, then I have the 91 times two. So I put 91 plus 91, 61 times two. So I put 61 plus 61. So that's just the upright A expressed right here. So this right here is then the upside down A. It's literally just this stuff, but written backwards because it would turn backwards when you flip it upside down. Then these two are the B's. And now I have have my two expressions. And in order to make this not negative 69, that's why I have the absolute value in there. And there you go. That's how I did it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It could definitely use the love. And I'll talk to you guys later. How exciting.